Assalamu alaikum guys. What I'm doing here is a quick uh, commentary actually on uh, some of the key events. Uh, big up content over everything who have been able to get some really good angles as to exactly what happened. And with it, I'm going to uh, try and break down exactly what happened um, by uh, by clicking on some of these uh, on these things. All right. So here, what you can see, guys, is me. This is 25 seconds into the video of Content of Everything's video. Uh, what you can see is me surrounded by uh, people, including police, for 25 seconds. Now, I'm going to press play button. Now, this guy in the fr in, in front of me here with the glasses with his uh, with spectacles. Uh, is trying to attack me, thro trying to throw a right hand. As you can see here, this is his fist trying to come at my face. Um, obviously, at this point, I have to try and defend myself. Um, so I try and I try and put out my jab to try and create a distance between me and that person. Um, now, of course, if uh, if it was as simple as just me and that person, I think it would have been pretty okay, and I would have been pretty safe. But the problem is here, you have the police on the right, uh, which I don't believe he was, con like this particular police officer here was really helpful. Um, and then you have other people pulling me. So let's see what happens. Here, um, this guy, you can see him here, trying to continually attack me. I don't know if this is a weapon he's got in his hand or what it is, but he's, he's got something in his hand there. Uh... So here, as you can see, police trying to kind of stop what's going on. These guys in the back are looking on, looking for their opening. There are, at this point, probably about three or four, maybe five guys are behind me. One guy in front of me and a policeman to my right. So let's see what happens here. Okay, this guy is um, in front. Once again, going for the offensive. I'm not sure if he has got a weapon in his hand or not. But uh, so I'll try and create the distance, create the space by putting out my jab. Uh, it's not really a strike at this point. It's just something just to defend myself. Um, but obviously there was a guy in the back. They're holding me back. Um, all right. So here I'm trying to move forward a little bit. Okay. You can see my right arm, and this is really important. My right arm is. Uh, stopped like the police officer has put his left arm into my chest which makes passage uh, my basically my right arm is, uh, is you can't it's not operational at all at this point these guys are pulling me back and I've only got my left arm all right the police officer does I don't know what he's doing here to be honest with you as you can see he's got his left hand in my face He's pushing my, my face. Uh, he's, push, he's pushing my face. Um, okay, so he's. Um, I don't know who. At this point in time, I can't see if this is a police officer or who it is. He doesn't even have a full and jacket. So for me, it makes it difficult to identify this individual who's putting his hand in my face. And remember, we've got people behind me. This police officer to my right, and this guy in front of me. So I don't know what's what at this point. Um, okay, so here. I'm just focusing on on the guy in front of me, yeah, trying to keep him away, keep the distance. Okay, I think at this point I'm able to get my my fist kind of near his chin, but it's nothing. It, there's no there's no power in that. It's just more like um, I, I'm just trying to defend myself, literally create distance because I know he's coming for me. So I'm trying to create distance by bringing out the jab. Uh, n nothing nothing fancy. Just just protecting myself. Police officer still got his right, uh, left hand on my right hand, which has stopped my the passage of my right hand. I can't use my right hand now. These guys have got it. This guy's got my uh, back. This guy's got. There's two. There's two people here, as you can see. There's one here, one here. They're holding me down. So now more people, like as you can see, now I'm drowning. More people get involved, pulling me down. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Uh, this guy is still holding, for some reason, holding me like, you know, <laughs> holding my face. Now this guy's got his hammer fist up, ready for the attack, obviously. Uh, he, he, he's from behind. This other guy's got his fist up as well. 
this guy, I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's trying to stop the violence. Maybe he's one of the uh, good ones. Now look, this guy comes whooping around. And by the way, guys, you need to know something. Hitting in the back of the head is a very dangerous thing, especially without any gloves. Um, so getting hit in the back of the head is, is, is illegal in most combat sports, if not all of them, because it can create serious damage. And this guy here, he's lo looping his arm over with left hook, trying to get, and as you can see here, he does connect. He does connect. So he connects at the back of my head, which is a very dangerous place to connect. And he gets some considerable force on it. And this guy connects at the same time. And so does this guy here. So as you can see here, these guys are connecting at the back of my head. Which is a very dangerous place to try and connect uh, someone. These are, as far as I know, these are a part of the, the organization. These are Tommy Robinson's security guards, as far as I know. This man in particular, he was, we were communicating with him before. So he's part of the um, organization. This guy's part of the organization. Police looks on. Okay, at this point, I'm uh, disheveled and discombobulated, not completely sure where I am and what I'm doing. Uh, and obviously, these people, I can't see them. My face is forward. I can't see them, right? So these guys are hitting me from behind, uh, and I can't see what they're doing. So here, connect. This guy's he's connected with his shot. Uh, and because it's the back of the head, and because all three of them are doing it at the same time, there is... Uh, alarm and distress from my perspective because I'm thinking where is this coming from I don't even know where the attack is coming from um, police looks on looking away not not trying to stop what's happening here this particular police officer I don't really rate him um, to be honest with you and he was if I'm being completely honest he was uh, he was not conducive in that he shouldn't have been there in the front line someone else should have, have been there now my arm stretches across as you can see here I don't know who's in front of me. My head is down. This is this is not even a, a punch, but this is my arm here. Unfortunately, the police gets caught in the crossfire, as you can see. Whilst all these guys try and attack me from behind. Police gets caught in the crossfire. And here, I can't see. I'm looking down. I can't see who's in front of me. I don't know if this is a police officer. Or one of the hooligans. Uh, I think he gets hurt here. I get hurt here for sure. I mean, there's three. Look at looping uh, left hook here, back of the head. These guys are here. Someone's holding my arm down. You know, and these guys are not stopping. I mean, this guy's trying to pull me in, as if this is some kind of he. He's pulling in like a net of fish, uh, and these guys here. I'm oh, really excited. Look at this guy's face. I mean, we need to identify who this guy is. This guy gives me the most. Uh, this uh, this guy gives me the heaviest blow. I remember this guy gives me probably the heaviest blow because it loops and it connects most. Um, it connects most uh, crisply on the back of my head, uh, back inside of my head. These guys are hammer fisting me and attacking me, and I, something's going on here. I, I'm not sure what's going on. This is the point where I realize that I'm under serious attack and I need to protect myself. So I try and put my hands up because I don't know who's attacking me from where. I try and put my hands up and try and um, defend myself. Um, look. So here I'm trying to put my arms in front of my face. Uh, and I'll try and get the other video. This guy is not stopping. This guy is trying to go for another hit. Okay. And this guy's really happy about it. You can see he's smiling. All of Tommy Robinson's fans are kind of on the on the same side here. This is a whole. This is the tent where all of the Milo and Tommy Robinson and all of those guys were there. So um, these are all on one side and and, and these things there. So um, they're they they they're all happy about it. There's no one really trying to stop these guys. Uh, they're all acquiescing to the violence. Tommy Robinson's people, you know. This guy's really going uh, going hard on me. Look, <laughs> his glasses almost come off here. Okay, well we've got your face. Don't worry about it, my friend. You know. They're saying in his camera. He's obviously using his phone. Um, at this point. 
I'm just going to switch videos. So at this point, um, I've moved on to the other video because I think it's a little bit more, uh, it captures more here. So here, as you can see, let me just, turn the mute, let me just mute this. All right, so the, we can see the, the officer getting caught in the crossfire there. I'm headed down, we're not sure what's going on. Other officer is there. Um, now, these guys, see here you can't see me getting hit by the, that guy and, and behind my head and etc but in this video what you can see is after i do get hit like that and i'm getting hit from behind i'm thinking what next right so these guys are all coming i think this guy here is is trying to stop the violence uh, as far as i remember um so he's not he's not a bad guy so here i try and i've just been attacked like by these guys so I'm, I'm trying to cover up as you can see here I've got my arms to protect my face etc trying to cover up and they're still attacking by the way so as i'm covering up here they're still hitting from behind right because there's not there's, there's nothing you can do if someone's hitting you from behind you i mean as far as i know there's nothing you can do police now realize that this is a serious onslaught on me a serious attack on me holding me this guy's holding his he's kind of seeing that i don't know if this is a police officer at this point or not these guys are holding me right uh, so I realized that the attack has ended at this stage uh, and then and then that's that's pretty much that's pretty much what happens that's pretty much the uh, story of what happens so in a nutshell guys what happens is I get attacked I get attacked by about if we're being very specific about they were, I was surrounded by about 50 this guy was one of the main perpetrators let's take a look at him he was one of the guys, okay, that actually um, started this all up. This guy here, I'll try and get a good image of him. Let's see if he's here, sorry. This guy here. We'll get, we'll get a picture of him. We'll get a picture of him. There's one guy there, I don't waste my, my time with this, but there's, there's, there's one guy here who... Who started it all up? He he got the FLA guys to come and surround me, me in particular. Now I'm being, these police are trying to protect me, yeah. So they're trying to get me out with safety because all of these guys here, I'm getting kicked, I'm getting I'm getting hit. So these police are starting to use violence on the on the hooligans. As you can see, this guy's continually trying to attack me. This this guy with the spectacles. So the police have to start using violence on him because he's trying to attack the police as well. Um, they use their batons, etc. But the point is. I was escorted by the police outside to safety, which is the main thing. Uh, and praise be to God, alhamdulillah, for that. Um, that's pretty much what happens, guys. And this is a freedom of speech event, of, or <laughs> uh, a freedom of speech event where Ali Dawa was invited, um, had a formal invitation, not allowed in. Ali Dawa had a speech to give. I was there with, say, the cameraman. I was there as added, like, kind of protection and support. Um, this is the kind of hospitality that we uh, that we got collectively from the Tommy Robinson uh, team.